Are you looking for ways to put your e-commerce store into a catalog mode? Do you want to hide product prices or remove out to cart button to skip the checkout process? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a WooCommerce store into a catalog mode. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Tuku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is the WooCommerce store I want to convert into a catalog mode. Now, if you want to learn how to create a store like this, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. To convert my WooCommerce store into a catalog mode, I'm going to install a plugin. And this is the plugin I'm going to install, LX WooCommerce Catalog Mode. So what I do is, I'll just go ahead and copy it. Then I go over to the backend of my website. Then I go over to Plugins, click on Add New. Under set plugins, I go ahead and enter the name of the plugin. And this is the plugin I'm going to use. I go ahead and install. It is installed. I activate. Plugin is activated successfully. I can just go ahead and click on settings under the plugin. Or I can go over to WooCommerce and I click on catalog mode. Now before I start going into the settings, let me go to the front end of my website. Then I go to the shop page. So at the moment, this is how the shop page will look like. We have add to cart button under each product. So let me go back to the plugin settings. First of all, I want to remove add to cart button. So I enable this. And from here, I have two options to remove it from the shop page and also from the product page. Let's go ahead and save the changes. Now, if I go to the shop page and refresh, you see that the add card button is gone. Now, if I also go to a single product page, you see that there's no add card button. Awesome. Going back to the settings. First of all, I will disable this and I'll go ahead and customize the add to cart button. So instead of removing it, now I'm going to go ahead and customize it. So I enable this. The first field is change button text on the product page. So what text do I want to see on the product page? Maybe I want my visitors to request for a quote. I enter request a quote. And I want the same thing for the shop page. So I just copy and paste. And then the button URL, I want to redirect my users to a form where they can request a quote. For now, I'll just go ahead and enter my contact page. And since I want to change my website into a catalog mode, I will hide the price. However, you have the option to enter some text in place of the price. I'll enter this text for now. Going down, I go ahead and save the changes. Now, if I go to the front end of my website and refresh, you see that I now have request a quote button. Awesome. And users can go ahead and click on it. And it will take them to the page where they can request for the quote. Now, if I go to the shop page, you see that my add to cart button is changed to a request a quote. And as well, we have call for price. Now, if I don't want to see the call for a price text, I go back to the settings. Then I simply take off this and I go ahead and save the changes. Going back, I refresh and you see that the text call for price is gone. Perfect. Going back, in here, you see that we have high cards and checkout page. This feature is not all that useful since we've already made our website into a catalog mode. And the reason is that users will be redirected to a form where they can request for a code. They will even have access to the cart and checkout pages. However, for any reason, if you don't want to customize the add to cart button and you don't want users to have access to your cart and checkout pages, you can go ahead and enable this. Finally, we have exclude administrator. If you want to exclude the administrator rule from the settings we have done here, you can go ahead and enable this in order to take off the administrator from the catalog mode settings. 
I'm not really interested in these two settings but you can go ahead and use them depending upon your store requirements. So that's it on how to convert a WooCommerce store into a catalog mode. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.